What's up, freaks and geeks? Or should I say, ah? So, uh, yeah, eye surgery two days ago. Had a little post-op check this morning. Gonna hit the outlets for a little bit, and then uh, I'll show you what I got. I don't know. Why not? Ain't nothing gonna stop me. Not even only having one eye, I still bet you I find better shit than half the people in here. Let's get it. Teddy Rupskin. I've already sold a few of those. 1970s Barry Topsiders. 1990 Ralph Lauren Polo Sport deck shoes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's going down. Don't mind if I do. Got a guitar also. What's up guys? So back from the thrift. Only hit two stores. Um, needed to get home, get some drops in take a pain med but I ended up been getting pretty good stuff uh, for one eye <laughs> um, just so you know what's going on uh, in September I had a detached retina so I had surgery on the fourth to fix that it was like a pea-sized hole in my left eye thus the patch and uh, about two weeks ago in November I uh, I went blind again in my eye and uh, found out Tuesday that I had a new tear in a different spot. So they went ahead and did surgery and now I am a freaking pirate again. So I can literally say that thrifting is my PPO or my health insurance. And that's what I always say when I'm at the doctor's office and they said, uh, who's your health care provider? I say Goodwill and they look at me stupid and then I laugh and tell them that I don't have insurance and that I thrift for my out-of-pocket costs. So, thrifting has now paid for two eye surgeries in the last three months, so thank you Goodwill Outlet. But let me get to the, uh, let me get to the thrift here. So, again, usually I don't get into clothes, but uh, some of the stuff I know sells, so I got it. Some Columbia PFG pants. These are uh, the performance fishing gear. These are the cargo ones for men, black, great size, large. They usually go pretty quick, and especially when you're paying what I pay at the outlets. Uh, I literally just sold a pair of these spider uh, snowboarding or winter uh, pants. So picked up another pair. Uh, last pair I sold, I also got at the outlets. I paid, uh, or I mean, I sold for 35 free shipping. So I anticipate those are going to go for 35, 30, 35 free shipping. So I think my buy cost uh, for this lot is like a dollar 76. So, oh, I'll deal with that. This is a Disney tag Hawaiian shirt. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because my camera still sucks. Uh, if I didn't have to have surgery, I would have bought a new iPhone. But anyway. Uh, these usually sell between 28 and 35 with free shipping, so no brainer. Plus, I like Hawaiian shirts myself. Uh, I would keep that one around since it's a size large and like motivate me to lose weight, but we all know that that's not going to happen. Well, you guys don't know, but I've been chunky my whole life. So, anyway, next one is just something I've sold a lot of Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirt, uh, specifically the one with the, the half naked uh, hula girl. Uh, for some reason, uh, older gentlemen like to look creepy and wear these at the beach, and I like to supply them with that shirt so they can be creepy. So, anyway, uh, these usually sell for between 30 and 35 for shipping. And the last thing is just going to be a Facebook marketplace, uh, just because I live here and these sell pretty quick. So, it's uh, Majestic, it's the official brand, no, no player. I think it's a women's cut, but we usually sell these on marketplace for between 15 and 20. Uh, again, when your buy cost is $1.76, it's pretty easy to move those fast. So, let's get to the shoes. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pairs. That's how we do it. That's just enough plus the clothes. That's like 20, 25 items. I like to stay in that area because, it gets, again, it allows me to do the mini haul. It allows me to get everything cleaned, listed and put back there to uh, await being sold. But smaller lots like that help me stay consistent. And again, my goal 
as always, is consistency. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Flip the World TX. I am doing a 90 day experiment. I started, started it October 1st, and my goal is to try and hit 10K uh, on eBay. And I think I just crest 5,000. So, uh, kind of close. I got to do like 33, 33, 33. Uh, for the next, you know, for October, November, December. So with the eye surgery uh, pushing me back on being able to do pest control, I'm gonna dive into this. That's kind of why I wanted to thrift today, even though my eye is killing me, is because I wanted to have something I can work on to try and bring in some money, um, since I can't go out and kill bugs and rats and shit like that. So, 16 pair, uh, should make me some decent money. But let's get into showing you what I got, because that's what you're here for, right? Uh, Marrow clogs, leather, always good. I already got them in the stretcher. I just like to put leather shoes and certain Nikes and stretchers already just so we can get that nice toe box looking good. Got uh, some Kid J's. These do really well. That's just uh, paint. It's not scratched or anything. I'll be able to take that off, clean these up real nice. I usually stay away from kid shoes again unless there's something I know that's going to sell. And again, if you don't know, you just look it up. And you'll be able to tell if it sells. But these have pretty good comps. Uh, some Adidas. These are the Tuscany Goodwill. Good Goodwill. Goodyear. These are like uh, what the little tool, the, the fancy race car drivers wear. Uh, but anyway, good colorway and good comps. They're leather. They got like this uh, weird stitching. I don't remember what it's called. They look fancy to me. I always do well with Keens, doesn't matter if they're kids or adults. And again, my buy cost for this whole lot per item is $1.76, so it should be easy to move these. I can take 15 bucks and I'll be happy. Uh, so your standard, your A6, I think these are what, Gel Kinsey's? Yep, Gel Kinsey's 6. Probably saying that wrong, but good colorway. I do a lot of A6. I'm starting to pile up right in front of my camera like an idiot. Some Laredo. These are called Knit Tie ropers they're in like amazing condition uh again outlet a lot of people see some of the shoes i get and they're just like you got that at the bins i'm like yeah dog i got it at the bins red wings work slip boots um steel toe and slip resistant i think you saw those in a little segment i don't like to film a lot when i'm in the in the outlets usually because i'm like in there picking and i don't have a a GoPro with like the harness and you know my sound boom guy with the stick and all that you know I just go in there and I get raw dogging it um, I really don't fuck with Sperry's too much oh f-bomb sorry uh, but some Sperry chuckas top sider chuckas they have amazing comps these are in great condition and Worst comes to worst, they're my size. <laughs> Let's be real. Could y'all see me wearing those? I couldn't. I'd kick my own ass. Diving into some oh, Ralph Lauren uh, heel sandal thingies. I don't know. I know they sell. That's why I get them. Uh, some Ralph Lauren. Uh, I think these are called the... The car lot, Carly's, yeah. I've sold a ton of these. This is a bigger size. I'm gonna take some leather cleaner and I'll be able to clean all these up. But these move pretty quick, usually around 25 to $30. Might do these a little lower. Again, buy cost is low. Been finding a lot of women's Merrill sandals. Again, moving quick. I mean, I know we're coming into the winter season, but it's not cold everywhere. SAS, San Antonio Shoes. Old people love them. People that work in uh, clinics and hospitals love them. Move pretty well. Pretty, pretty, pretty well. Uh, I've got four pair left, guys. I'm trying to haul through this because my eye's killing me. Plus, i got to get cleaning. These are the Nike Joyride Runs. Massive size. Again, these came out of the bins. They're a little dirty. A little secret about the bins here. I don't know how it is everywhere else, but... Uh, Usually the people that I am fighting for shoes, they kind of only go up to about size nine and then they just give up. They don't go for the larger shoes. So I'll, I don't even have to fight people for the 13s. They usually just hand them to me because they know that they don't want them and then I'm gonna take them. So I got those. 
These are pretty awesome. I think they're women's, but I wish they were my size. 1990 Polo Sport deck shoes. Very clean. Very clean. Again, I really don't mess with Sperry's, but when you look stuff up and see money, you got to get them. So like 1970s, 1980s CVOs. Sperry's, they kind of look like Vans, but they are uh, they're called CVOs, but... I did the old bend test to make sure the rubber's not cracking. If you didn't know that, you can do a twist test and then a bend test. You want to make sure that there's no cracks on the rubber. Uh, a lot of times, if it's if it's an older shoe, that will just snap. And then you just put it back in the bin and keep walking. All right, last pair. 04 Varsity Red Air Force Ones. Now, I'm torn with these. I'm not a Nike person. I'm a Reebok person. I've always been a Reebok person, but these are my size. And I think it would be hilarious if I started rocking these just to fuck with the vintage kids. But they sell for like 130 to 140, so I probably will not. Probably throw them up on eBay and get them the hell out. A little Vietnamese iced coffee. Ah. Well, now let's talk about what's sold. I don't have anything in front of me, so I'm just gonna put them up here and I'm gonna make facial expressions like a pirate. Oh. What? That's crazy. Mostly shoes. I'm just kidding, I'm still here. Uh, I will tell you one thing that sold. If you remember one of my earlier videos a couple months ago, I think it was October, I picked up a um, sandblasting helmet. It was yellow. I think I paid $4.84 for it. Sold it for 80 bucks. Took an offer. Got it packed into this box and it only cost 14 to ship. So after fees and shipping, I'm going to make $55. Not bad off of $4. So that's another thing that sold this week. Uh, all in all, I'll give you a total at the end to show you everything that sold, or at least I'll just give you the total. I know you don't really care about the, the menial bread and butter stuff. You just want to see the big home runs, but singles is where you win championships, not home runs. Remember that. Or trash cans if you think you're, you know, Astros, uh, we can trash cans. Yeah, well, at least we didn't have to have a pandemic and a 60-game season to get a ring. L.A. Dodgers suck. But that's it. That's my video. I am working on a acronym video for beginners to teach you the lingo of reselling. So whenever somebody's having a combo with you and they're throwing out these um, O A R A F B A F B M C O G R O I, I mean V T G N I B, you won't just be sitting there going, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, tell me, yeah, sure, sure, okay. You'll know what the hell's going on. But like, share, subscribe. I think there's a little icon right there. I don't know. I'm trying to play around with uh, my editing skills. But see you guys later. Well, hello there. This is Country Biscuit. And I just wanted to come on here real quick after this video about nonsense and tell you about merchandise. You like Flip the World? Hopefully you do, and that's why you watch his stupid videos. But anyway, if you click on the description, he's got a link there. It's going to take you to an Etsy shop where he's got shirts and coffee mugs. And he's going to be coming out with hats, too. I heard. I heard a rumor he's going to do hats. But uh, I picked up a coffee mug. Let me show you it's got the Flip the World logo on both sides. It's got a nice little black handle, and it's a little black on the inside. Now, it ain't made in America. It's made in China. I ain't going to hold it against them because, you know, a lot of things, a lot of good things are coming out of China. Everybody got an iPhone, don't they? But uh, it's a good mug, so go ahead and click on that link. And uh, he's getting close to 500 uh, subscribers. I know that's a menial number, but, you know, in the last 15 years in America, uh, we've been celebrating mediocrity, so uh, go ahead and, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so he can get his participation trophy. All right, shit.